everyone. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Hope you guys are having a great afternoon. It is uh, super cold here and uh, kind of dreary and I'm super sick still. So welcome to my channel and my red nose, but I'm still going to deliver you tea regardless of what I look like or some fundy snark because that's what we do here. Okay. So <laughs> I was looking for, I spent the better half of my afternoon trying to find something that would be um, lighthearted and ridiculous all at the same time because we do talk about a lot of things on this channel that are very heavy and I was like, we need something lighter. We've had some heavy streams lately. We need something lighter. Well, then I remembered that over the weekend, Jill Dillard went to the store and she bought some stuff. And I remember watching everything and I was like, I don't get it. This is weird. I'm trying to wrap my head around what her vision was. It didn't make sense. She put together a video, which left me even more confused. And then I popped onto Reddit, onto my favorite Reddit, um, sub Reddit, which is Duggar Snark. Um, they have hilarious um musings of all things Duggar and they are not necessarily fans of Jill and her DIYs. So let's talk about what it is. Here you go. Oops. So over the weekend she went to Hobby Lobby and she goes, inspired by Kristen Nicole Young, you my boho friend in this together. So her friend Kristen is apparently boho, okay? And uh, she picks up some baskets and looks like some thing that's supposed to be a weed or something. And it says, didn't pay full price, 40 to 50% off. And then she said, there's always a code to use, blah, blah, blah. Use it today. So she buys all this stuff, right? And she goes there. Now this is who she says she's inspired by, okay? This is her friend, Kristen Nicole Young. Um, she likes things she likes plants when I was looking through her Instagram um, simplistic plates and plants and that little like lattice or a woven piece you'll actually find it in Jill's room when I show you the video like she's obsessed with plants so I'm guessing that her neat her love for plants is the inspiration for Jill's um, weedy basket. Okay. So here's the actual video of the weedy basket and I'm left again, extremely confused and we can just check this out together. Hold on a second. <laughs> So here's what I got. I got that tray, I guess it's called it. So I've already got this wall kind of done. I um, moved my candle end. So you see that, that photo I showed you? She's, I'll just rewind tray, it. I guess it's called it. So I've already got this wall kind of done. So that's this pretty much like the same thing that was in her friend's photo. So she's basically just apparently dressed, like gonna decorate her house like her friend Nicole. I um, moved my candle end, okay, in here, and then I have um, these two pieces of art, and I'm going to put one basket, the smaller one, probably on the wall with greenery hanging down. So I am cutting off the end, the little things. You could hang it by this, but I kind of like the way that it was already laying, uh, this greenery. I like the way that it was already kind of like folded over, laying like this. I'm just gonna use this twisty tie thing and cut off the the little rings at the end to hang it by because I like the way that it, the direction that it was all going. So, anyways, I have my greenery and I am just taking the twisty tie thing that came with it and poking it through the basket. And I'm securing it on the other side. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall. Okay, so that was her DIY. She took some like weedy looking stuff and she basically like ended up like stapling it 
she had two videos. I didn't grab the second video. And the second video was like the same thing where she took a stapler, stapled it in. It looked weird. I didn't understand it. And then let me just show you what the end result is. And this again is a courtesy of Reddit. I forgot to grab a full shot of it. So there's the photo of what she hung on the wall. And I was like, I don't get it. Like, what is that? That's weird. Like that's literally on your wall. Like fake fern or something. So people on Reddit were like, what the hell is that supposed to be? What is it? And she said she took a tray basket, stapled some fake greenery to it, and nailed it to the wall. I'm sure she was going to staple the whole monstrosity to her bed as she was stapling it directly to the quilt of her bed. Special. She was. She was stapling right on top of her bed. I was like, okay, that's interesting. Um, she said, I recognize the floral basket. It's been a while since I've been in the floral section of a craft store. So the species of fake greenery is new to me. I thought it might actually be live. Um... Go look at the former taco lady, Kristen Young's Insta story. That's what it's supposed to look like. She literally copied it, but she didn't credit her for one of the first clips about it. So she basically took a look that Kristen made, but she didn't credit it for. And she said, for the lazy. And they said, I'm no less confused after seeing the original. Um, <laughs> wow, I was sort of impressed when I saw her basket full of crap at the store. Maybe she would actually decorate her home half decently. Leave it to Jilly Bean to just F it all up. Okay, now, this is, we can start on. What the, or what on earth, Jilly Muffin? <clears throat> Jill, not all of us are gifted decorators. I am not either. Just look up some tutorials on Pinterest instead of whatever the earth this is. <laughs> and let's not forget your wedding bouquet above the bathtub shenanigans. Um, she's trolling us right now. It looks like a basket of yard waste. Wow, so trendy. Parsley or cilantro? It's a basket throwing up, duh. This is tragic. Um, I have pulled the same green stuff out of my hair at the beach. It does kind of remind me of like seaweed. I'm like, I don't understand it. So wall baskets, basket collages, greenery, and a wooden decor is in with this fundy decorators at the moment. This is a sad attempt to stay in style with the fundy, fundy, light, boho vibes. Grass clippings? Is this going next to the awkward shelf above the bathtub? <laughs> Someone said, Jill, love yourself more than this. <laughs> this confuses me. That's that's exactly what I was left with. What is this? It's like trying to be chic and trendy and minimalist, but it doesn't, it's, it's not landing. And because the greenery is like plastic and fake, it's just, I can't imagine it would look good. I mean, when she was holding it up, you could tell that it was plastic. The least she could have done was gotten, like, purchased something that was, like, fake, um, like, the flowers behind me. Those are fake, but they're, they're, like, fabric. They're, like, cloth. She could at least have gotten some, like, cloth so it looked, like, more organic, but this just looks like she put some tumbleweed or some seaweed, stapled it to a basket, and then put it on her wall and was like, that's good. I'm glad. So this is why I don't know that these girls, like, well, these girls will be successful as influencers. Like, she also, someone pointed out, did not credit her friend when she posted it on her Instagram. And that's true. She said that it was inspired by in the, in the photos leading up to it. But she didn't credit her friend once she posted the photo at all to say that what it was inspired by. So obviously that had people confused as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne in chat says, looks like her wall is vomiting. <laughs> and then Kathy says, bud vases on the wall with real flowers would look way better. I agree. I'm not really into this. Like I'm, a, I'm not like a huge minimalist, but I definitely like a clutter free home. But that just isn't it for me. Like get some sconces, Jill, get some fake flowers, get a nice pretty vase, go to World Market or Pier One or wherever. You know, like it's not that hard. Make a wood painting like I did behind me. You know, it's there's it's pretty easy. There's easy ways to decorate without having your wall look like it's vomiting seaweed. All right. <clears throat> I actually feel sad for Jill in this. Like it, it truly reminds me that these girls are ill prepared for the real world. And they don't really even know chic or cute when it slaps them in the face. 
All right, you guys, so I would love to know what your thoughts are. And please, don't bully Jill for this. This was just some funny, like, I can't believe this is actually something you would put on your wall kind of video. So tell me what your thoughts are. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Am I not seeing, am I not seeing it? If you're seeing it, tell me where I'm wrong. I would love to know your comments below. I will be back in a little while. Bye, guys.